So you're going to start by going to File, New. Hold on to the um, squiggly tool and click on Text. Once you're at Text, you're going to click on Object, if it's not already highlighted, and type in whatever you want. Okay, so now you can change the font. Font packs will be um, in the description or links to where you can download fonts from. Okay, so now you have this like that. But um, before before doing anything, you need to know how to use these three um, things. So this one is to move. This one is to zoom in and out. And this one is to rotate. Okay, so um, now you're going to um, go on to extrude nerves this box here and you're going to just hit on that and you're going to drag this down so it goes down like so and now if you click on render it's rendered and um, you can actually see it now whereas before you couldn't um, now you're going to click um, control C control V or better still you can um, go on to object and change the movement first to 80 and um, now copy and paste it so control C control V or you can do edit copy edit paste and on the top one you're going to put it as 40 so that is half of this and you'll see why in a minute now you're going to rotate it round till you get the top and just put it in the middle simple once you've done that, you're going to click on it again and go to caps, so caps and rounding, and you're going to go start fillet cap, end fillet cap, radius 7, radius 7. You can change it whenever you want, but um, you should uh, just follow my exact instructions at this point. Anyway, now you can see that it's like got a back bevel to it and it's quite 3D like now. All you need to do now is add color and um, the plane. So for color, you go to materials, file, new material, and I use shader, new key. They're both very good f um, for like what I'm about to do. So, but um, you can change what what you want to do later. Anyway, you um, go from new key and you should have attributes here you go to diffuse A change your color to whatever you want and change your matte color to whatever you want for this I'm doing black alright so now you should have red and black um, the new key is shiny whereas the matte is not okay so you just drag the um, new key to the front one and you can see here you can even rotate to double check which one's at front which one's at back so for the front one I'm gonna do uh, a red so it should come up here like so and then you just drop it and it becomes red and for the black I'm gonna do the back so back as black there you go and you should have that and it should look a little something like this if you want you can leave it at this but if you don't then um, you can do as follows so now basically you should be like familiar with the um, Cinema 4D layout R12 by the way so if you want to download it um, get R12 okay so now what you're going to want to do is add a plane so that like the gradients look good and etc etc so plane and you go on to object and just spam it with nines like, but the same amount so I'm going to go for that now once that's done if you click render again it's basically it, it, it looks shit so you're gonna add light light should be on your thing but if you don't see it the pictures as that so you click on light and you should get this everything's gotten really dark you're gonna need to like rotate it round and like move it round 
and just get it as when when you think it looks best. I'm just gonna do it there, and then you should see an improvement when you render it. Just keep moving it around till it looks really really good. There you go. That's last basic um, example of um, how to create um, Cinema 4D text. Um, I hope you I hope you like this video, um, and more follow up videos will be uploaded soon. Comment, rate, and subscribe.